Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. In this edition of Learning World, we explore the power of light in education. What role does lighting play in the classroom and what solutions are there for schools with no electricity? Let's have a look at some bright ideas that are making a difference. More than 60,000 schools in Latin America lack access to electricity. However, one project is helping light up lives and minds in rural schools and their local communities. We have a look how in the Dominican Republic. 12-year-old Angel Castillo starts his day at 7 a.m. by getting on his mule and riding to school. Teacher Heidi Viscaino's mode of transport is a little more advanced. A 10-minute ride on a motorbike is a much easier journey. Wilkin Muldan's school days are over. He's packing his tools to go and visit a client. He hopes to grow his own business from small beginnings. All three live in a remote rural area without electricity or access to the internet. Their lives change with the arrival of Lights to Learn, a program started in 2012 by the organization of Ibero American States for Education, Science and Culture. It provides solar energy. When I moved to this community to teach French, I noticed that there was no power anywhere. My parents got solar power energy. When that happened, I thought that I must have solar energy as well, because I'm used to online chatting and all that. So when the school got solar panels and started to offer courses, I thought to myself that I should take part. I have to participate. I have to know more about that. Thanks to the solar panels, the school now has internet access, so Heidi can learn more about IT. She's one of more than a thousand teachers and Wislandi is one of more than 20,000 pupils who benefit from lights to learn. Implemented in rural educational centers that have been equipped with solar panels, computers and internet access. If you couldn't find the subject in books, there was nothing you could do. Now if you don't find it in books, you look it up on the internet. The program prioritizes indigenous people of African descent who might also be vulnerable. The main task is to provide quality education in isolated rural communities, which traditionally suffered from low education levels and high dropout rates. La conectividad. Eh, Connectivity really changes the way of teaching, learning and the life of the community. The schools become a meeting point and a development platform for the whole community and a door to the outside world. Adults are offered the opportunity to improve their education and escape from isolation. The other day the community held a meeting. They were here until 11 p.m. watching a movie. This is an accomplishment. Without electricity you wouldn't be able to do that. In order to achieve sustainability, the community has to be able to install and maintain the solar panels. So courses were offered and taken up. Even some teachers participated. Wilkin took a step forward and used his knowledge to open a small business. Thanks to the training, I don't have to focus so much on farming, planting white yam. When somebody calls because of a solar panel, I solve the problem and they pay me. The success of the program is visible. In some countries where Lights to Learn has been implemented in rural schools, dropout rates have been reduced significantly. A true chance for rural communities to develop. 